Next question we often get asked is, my pressure pump to the home is not pressurizing the house. Well, right now we've only collected about one quarter of the water in the tank, only about that high. We actually need quite a bit of water in the tank in order to get rid of the air that's in the pump, that's trapped in the pump. So when we're ready to start the pressure pump, I tell everybody the same thing. Watch the output pressure gauge. That's what's going to tell us that the pump is pressurizing the home. If that doesn't snap up off of zero and start to pressurize, you still have air lock and you're going to need more water in the tank before that air is eliminated in the pump. I'm just going to go ahead right now, try the pump at about a quarter of a tank just to see what happens. So we're going to be watching that output pressure gauge to see what happens. The pump is controlled again with the disconnect that's on the front of the unit. We're going to flick that on. Oh, in this case, it happened to pick right up, even though we only have a quarter of a tank. But if it didn't pick up right away, we want to shut that pump off and wait till we've collected more water in the tank. Great, let's pressurize the house and take a shower. I just want to point out a couple features of the pressurization to your home. We have a half horsepower, 10 gallon a minute repressurization pump in the tank. On top of that pump is a device called a cycle stop valve. That's what's going to give you constant pressure in your home. So up to demands of about five gallons a minute, you're going to see a consistent pressure on this gauge of about 60 PSI. When the water demand stops, the pump will push the pressure up to 70 pounds and the pressure switch on the back here which is set for 50 70 will turn the pressure pump off when there's a water demand you'll see the pressure drop down to 50 the pump turns on and the pump continues to run as long as there's a water demand that's the constant pressure feature of our system what wears pumps out are frequent starts and stops if a pump were run continuously, that's the rating of a, of a pump. It's they're rated for about 50,000 starts and stops. They don't rate it by hours used. So we don't mind that the pump is running continuously for most water demands. Also part of that circuit is a pressure tank. Gives you about one and a quarter gallons of stored water, the pressure gauge, and a pressure relief valve all part of the constant pressure system. I'm going to turn the pressure pump back on again and we're just going to look at the output water flow on our gauges. So pump on, we've got water pressure. Every pump is flow tested and pressure tested. This is part of our test system. So we might run this pump at max output we're going to get all the air out of the system during test, but you'll have to do the same thing in your home. You'll hear the rush of that air. It'll leak out of your spigots and faucets when you uh, initially start the system. So we give the air a minute, uh, a, air a few minutes to come out of the system, and then we get a pretty consistent water flow. And then we'll test the pump starting at around 15 gallons a minute. More air, that's very typical. That's very typical until all the air is out of the system. So we'll test that pump at around 15 gallons a minute and we'll record flow and pressure and we have all that test data recorded on every unit we ship. The last thing I want to talk about on the pressure side of the system that I'm often asked is, is your repressurization pump noisy? And that's a very good question. Some people are familiar with convertible jet pumps in their basement that can be rather noisy. So I want you to judge for yourself. You can hear the pump when it's running. So that's the pressure pump that's in the tank right now running. Comparable to a small hair dryer maybe. Not, not noisy really in my opinion. The output connection to your home, uh, we provide a one inch union that you could adapt uh, anything to. You might adapt copper, you might adapt PEX using a sharp grade fitting. Uh, you might adapt plastic to it. 
So your output connection is on the back here. It's one inch and it's very adaptable to just about anything you, you want to use.